All right, so this isn't the first account that I'm setting up after our newest feature release, which doesn't require a spreadsheet. So I am just going to do it in public because worst case scenario, I just won't post this recording. Best case scenario, it turns out really cool how I want it to. So um, I have just a template account for it's very blank, has nothing in it for auto repair AI. Uh, it's just a brand that I built a while ago that I never really got time to actually launch. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. Maybe I'll sell it to you. But anyway, I have the chat GPT is the model. I put my open AI key and I have this prompt here. And this prompt, just to give you an idea of a good like open AI prompt, um, is basically if the contact asks you any questions, answer to the best of your ability. Do not answer any questions that you are unable to verify with the provided knowledge and examples. You are, if you are unable to truthfully answer the question asked, simply respond with, I'm not entirely sure about that. Make sure to only answer questions that are relevant to our services. Our services include these. Um, we can work on domestic vehicles. I, did, I didn't say anything about um, foreign vehicles. Do not offer to book an appointment until the contact has clearly established all of these things. Do not confirm if the day and time they request is available, but let them know you'll check with your shop manager and confirm the availability. And do not answer any questions not directly asked by the contact do not ask several questions in a row but only ask one question at a time if you need to get anything or any information from the contact you should always wait for the contact to answer your current question before asking the next one so this is actually a pretty common thing that i have to put in almost every single prompt um whenever you need to ask questions from the contact it wants to get crazy and just ask everything at once um so this is a way to prevent that from happening so i'm going to take this i'm going to put it here into this prompt um the model type is chat gpt of course the temperature i'm going to set the temperature to be about zero uh zero point one one because that seems to be doing pretty well for me about 140 for the output length. I'm actually not going to put a knowledge spreadsheet. Um, I'm not going to do any of this. I'm just going to click submit and save all of that. Cool. So once all that's loaded, all of this should be saved into here. I'm going to come on over here to the ChatGPT agent. And I'm going to just say... Thank you for contacting us. We offer oil changes for domestically produced vehicles like in 2004. May I ask what date and time? So this is pretty chatbot like, and uh, it got it totally understood what I was trying to get it to do. However, um, I want to change this up a little bit. So I am going to click on this little button here, and I'm going to just say a generic little question to ask, and I'm going to click save. So once that's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the session. I'm actually gonna just refresh the page really quick and just make sure that that shows up. Cool, so that session is saved. So that way I know that example is there. I'm gonna come here and say, and remember I told it we only actually do domestic vehicles. So it should say, I'm sorry, but we actually only service domestic vehicles produced in the US, which Honda is not. Um, but instead it asks to clarify, are you looking for a transmission fluid flush or a coolant fluid flush? So it did ask a little bit of a clarifying question, but not quite the one I want. So let's just, um, so I'll click update. And I'll go ahead and save that as well. And remember, I'm not using a spreadsheet here. So this is just purely learning from my sessions alone. So it's not learning from any kind of external knowledge base. So it will take a little bit longer, but let's keep trying. So um, I have a 2012. Let's see what it says here. Thanks for letting you know about your Ford Escape. Have you had any re recent maintenance done on your vehicle? Um, so this is actually a pretty good question. 
No, it just came on randomly while I was driving the other day. Let's see how it does. Let's see, would you like to schedule an appointment? So this is pretty close, but actually I wanted to just go ahead and assume. So I'm gonna say, So that way we're not really asking if it's for permission, but we're just gonna go ahead and save that. Cool, and then again, just to make sure it's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my page. I'm gonna check ChatGPT and okay, cool. So it's got that, it's got that, it's got that, perfect. So now I'm gonna say, hmm, let's just say, some people type it afterwards like that. Just confirm you're looking to schedule a general maintenance appointment or is there a specific issue you're experiencing with your vehicle? And of course I can change that if I want so I can modify this as well. Um, so this one actually did pretty, pretty good on the second one. So I'm not too mad about that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and change this and say, So I'll update that there. Um, and so then for this, I'll say the service light can come on for a variety of reasons. So it's best to bring your vehicle in for a diagnostic check. What date and time would you like to bring your Jeep Grand Cherokee in? So that one looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and save this. And just as I build more and more examples about how it needs to respond, um, it can, it'll learn more and more. And then on top of that, if I do want to include the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet gives me the chance to build in common questions and answers. So this is a way for me to kind of fine tune how I want it to actually chat. Um, and the spreadsheet is a way for me to give it factual questions and answers. So with these two things together, I mean, it's super powerful now, like you're able to really create a very knowledgeable assistant for your business and for your client's business. And it really doesn't take much doing. So this is an awesome feature. I'm super excited about it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy.